by the saucy chef. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Saucy in the kitchen, yeah, it's going down. Making mouth water, saucy talk of the town. I know you're hungry, can't fight it, you will lose your breath. Quickie meals for your pleasure, here's another chef. Subscribe to the channel, saucy, you be boss. Without further ado, I'm introducing sauce. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nana, the Saucy Chef. Today we're going to be making arroz con pollo. The ingredients that we're going to need today. I have about a pound and a half of thin sliced chicken breast. We're going to need three tablespoons of sofrito, two tablespoons of chicken bouillon, one half teaspoon of cumin, we're going to need the juice from one lime, one tablespoon of sazon con ichote, two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to need two cups of long grain white rice, one half of white onion chopped, a half a cubanel pepper chopped. We're going to need two garlic cloves minced. You're also going to need two tablespoons of tomato paste and one tablespoon of olives and also two cups of water. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a, a seasoning for the chicken breast. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my bouillon chicken bouillon. I'm going to add my sazon. I'm also going to add my cumin. I'm going to go ahead and add my lime juice. My sofrito. and also my olive oil. And all we're gonna do is mix it until it's well combined. This smells so good. Okay guys, once it's well combined, you can go ahead and give it a taste. It tastes great. All the flavors are there. So next, we're just going to go ahead, we're going to get our chicken breast, and we're just going to pour our seasoning over top. And all that you want to do now is go ahead and mix your chicken in with this. And you want to get your chicken nicely coated. So make sure you mix it around thoroughly. Okay guys, once you have it nicely coated, you want to let that sit for about 20 minutes. Okay guys, now in a saucepan over medium heat, we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. Now you want that to come up to temp, that way we can go ahead and begin to put our chicken breasts in and brown them. Okay guys, we're going to start putting our chicken breasts in and we're going to brown them on both sides. Give it about two to three minutes on one side and then we're going to go ahead and turn them. Once you have your chicken breast in your pan, guys, all we're going to do is go ahead and put a lid over top of them. And we're going to turn them after three minutes. Okay, guys, as you can see, our chicken breasts are cooking up nicely. It smells so good in here. I wish you guys could smell it. 
Okay guys, we're going to let this cook for about five to seven more minutes. Okay guys, all I'm going to do now is remove our chicken breast. Okay guys, once the chicken breast is removed, all we're going to do is go ahead and add our onion in. We're going to add our Cuban bell pepper. And also our garlic. And we're just going to let that saute for a couple minutes. And guys, don't worry about what's on the bottom of your pan. That's just going to give it flavor. Okay guys, while everything is sautéing, I'm just going to add some black pepper in. And we're just going to go ahead and mix that up. Okay guys, now I'm just going to add a little bit of the chicken bouillon. Just a little bit, not too much. And I'm also going to add our tomato paste. Now we're just going to go ahead and mix that until it's well combined. You want to work your tomato paste into everything. Then we're going to add the seasoning that's left over from what we were soaking our chicken breast in. We're also going to add that to the pot. Once you added that, just go ahead and mix everything until it's well combined. Once that's well combined, we're going to go ahead and add our pre-washed white rice. And we're going to mix that until it's well combined also. So just go ahead and mix it all up. Once you have your rice all mixed in, I'm going to let that cook up just for a couple minutes before we add our water. Okay guys, now I'm going to go ahead and add our water. I'm going to add about, I'm going to put the whole two cups in. And we can add our olives and you're going to mix it until it's well combined. We're going to let that get a little boil on it. Okay guys, once you see your boil right there, you're just going to go ahead and get your chicken breast. And we're just going to push that down in there. And just continue to put your chicken in there. Push it down. Then all we're going to do, we're going to lower the heat on it to the very lowest that you can get it. And we're going to cover it up and we're going to let it cook for 25 30 minutes okay guys my lid is on I will see you in about 25 to 30 minutes okay guys we got about 10 more minutes left so this is what it's looking like so far okay guys it's been 30 minutes so our rice is now done um, I like to go in and just move the rice around a little bit as you can see 
it's done just go under your chicken and guys at the bottom we have pecao and that's the best part of it so we're just moving the rice around some This looks amazing. Okay guys, so here we have it. Arroz con pollo. Rice and chicken. This tastes amazing. If you guys never had it, don't be scared to try the recipe. If you follow step by step, it will come out perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please come back, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, this is Nana, the Saucy Chef.